Hey guys, welcome back to another week's episode of the Budget 4x4 Live. On today's episode, I'm going to show you everything that I've installed so far, leaving you with ideas to do it yourself. Stay tuned. All right, so starting at the front of the car, it is clear that I've upgraded to LED headlights, which is a nice white color, shining bright. And then down the bottom here, it's a halo fog light of eBay, which is excellent. You are able to choose from multiple colors, but unfortunately in Australia, it's only allowed to have it on white or yellow, but white looks better. It's so hard coming across a nice snorkel for the Pajero IO because they didn't really make it for them. So I came across this Geo Patrol four inch snorkel and I thought, yep, I'll make it work. And I'll tell you what, it has a sleek design. It makes a big stand. So I reckon it's sweet. Alrighty, so when it comes to the tires, they are a 225 75 16 tire on a 16 by six alloy rim. It's a plus 46 offset. So it's nice in the guards and uh, it's off a Lancer, I believe. So as you can see, I got the windows tinted from Premier Window Tint. Can't fault it. It's so much better driving without the sun burning you through your windows. Start down the bottom here is just um, deep mats from Super Cheap Auto, along with a fire extinguisher. You never know when you might need that to save your car or maybe someone else's car. So there's just a storage compartment for my sunnies. They sit nice and well in there. Another phone compartment over there. Air conditioning. It's got the the Sony DSX A14 BT. Bluetooth head unit over there, awesome sound. And then of course the inclino meter to make sure I don't flip the car over, you know? Over here, it's just my GME 2 watt handheld radio, just to um, connect with other users on the road as well in case I might get into trouble or if other people are seeking help. And then it's just a nice steering cover also from a super cheap auto fits nicely, makes it look neat. So you might be wondering what these seats are out of. Um, it's a Toyota Silica and they fit very nicely and it looks, looks the goods. So as you can see, it's five speed manual. All right, so over here we got the armrest. Um, it's a custom one from eBay. I think I've spent like $30 on it. It's pretty good. Um, and yeah, it works a treat. It also has some USB connections down there so you can charge your phone and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the front. Alrighty, so when we come to the back, let's just open this one up. This is what she looks like. It's a Titan draw, it's the 900. Yeah, the 900 from Kings um, with the Titan fridge light as well. So as you can see, I finished it nicely with a mat um, from Bunnings. And then there's obviously the roller cage as well. Um, the previous owner wanted to make it a rally car, um, but luckily I got it off him first. And then just these Pioneer speakers over here, they are six by five, um, four way speakers. So they deliver very pure sound, which is awesome. And then luckily there's space for one passenger over here um, and can fall down in case I wanna put some more storage in there. You might be wondering what these wires are for. Um, so normally I leave my deep cycle battery over here and connect it to the fridge, which is very nice. Over here is my custom door stop. As you can see, you just chuck that baby in there and then the door can't um, close in windy conditions. Here's my tire gauge. Um, I always keep that with me 
along with my air compressor in there and some straps for the, um, the roof rack. Over here is my last modification. It's just a chopping board. How good is that? But yeah, that is the back. All right, guys, last but not least, the engine. So this car is running the 4G94 2 litre petrol engine. It's the biggest one out of the bunch. You get the 1.6, the 1.8 and the 2 litre. Plenty of ground, more than enough power. If you're going to run accessories, I definitely recommend getting a stronger battery. King's battery isolator to run the dual battery system. When it comes to the airbox, here's how I connected it to the snorkel. I actually leave it open. You might ask, why do you leave it open at the front? So when I'm on the road, I leave both open so I get the most air. And then when it comes to off-road, I actually have a rubber that I just stick into there and blocks it off very nicely. That's pretty much the engine. Well, there you go, guys. A quick overview of my Pajaro IO. If you guys like what you've seen today and you would like to know more about all the products that I've installed, there will be future videos uploaded about each product individually. And just so you guys know how to install it and where to find it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, give us a like, and tap that bell icon so that you're notified for the next episode when it drops. Stay safe and have a good one. See ya.